Avalanches. They occur every winter and can be deadly. On average, avalanches kill nearly 30 people per year in the United States, a number that has climbed as backcountry skiing has grown more popular. So what causes avalanches and how do you avoid them? We went to Steamboat Springs, Colorado to learn from those who see them firsthand, ski patrol. What we're gonna be looking at here is the layering of the snowpack, um, identifying different layers, and then we can do a couple of tests to try to um, find weaknesses in the snowpack that might create an avalanche in the backcountry. Snow with differing weight is exactly what experts look for. More water means heavier snow. The most unstable snow layering is heavy snow on top of lighter snow with a layer of ice in between. It's not as tightly packed right through here. There's this line. That may have been some snow that sat on the surface for during a cold clear period, what we call surface hoar develops, and it develops these large feathery cr crystals. And then when they get buried by additional snow, that could potentially be a weak layer that collapses and causes an avalanche. To prevent avalanches, ski patrollers will set off controlled blasts or just simply ski on top of a fresh snow layer. That creates a controlled avalanche and lowers the risk of an unexpected slide. Before you ski or go into backcountry, make sure you know your risk. After a heavy snow, stay on the trails and watch for signage. Between snow water content, the amount of storms that you've had, and the amount of time that you've had them over, that'll determine whether this becomes a potentially life-threatening avalanche. For Weather Nation, a meteorologist, Chris Bianchi.